склады, ребят, на погоде на 93. Там этих гаражей много, они такие. Да, там и... еще машины стоят, ты представляешь, Вон как, там... они, как они потратятся на это. Так людей, там нету людей там. The United States of America will provide Ukraine with weapons as part of a new $400 million military aid package, according to the White House and Andrew Yermak, the head of the office of the President of Ukraine. The text specifies that Biden has instructed Secretary of State Antony Blinken to allocate $400 million for Ukraine's needs. It should be noted that this is the second military aid package to Ukraine from the United States after Congress allocated funds for this at the end of April. According to Yermak, the new U.S. package includes additional ammo for Patriot and NASM systems, Stinger anti-aircraft missiles, more HIMARS systems with ammunition, 155mm and 105mm artillery shells, and equipment for integrating Western launchers, missiles, and radars with Ukrainian systems. The Pentagon specifies Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, M113 armored personnel carriers, anti-mine vehicles with ambush protection, and trailers for hauling heavy equipment. Tow missiles, Javelin and at 4 anti-tank systems, high-precision aviation ammunition, harm missiles, small arms and ammunition, explosive ammunition and demoning equipment, coastal and river patrol boats, and means of chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear protection, are all included in the assistance package. Prior to this, U.S. assistance to Ukraine had been suspended for several months due to funding running out. Immediately following the decision of Congress, U.S. President Joe Biden announced the first military aid package to Ukraine after a considerable hiatus. Later, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky clarified that the package included long-range Atakms missiles, which Kyiv had long been asking Washington for. The total value of the weaponry included in the package amounted to billions of dollars. The Pentagon and SpaceX blocked Russians from using Starlink on the battlefield. Pentagon officials are working with Elon Musk's SpaceX to prevent the Russian military from using unauthorized Starlink internet terminals on the battlefield in Ukraine. Bloomberg writes about this with reference to John Plum, head of the Space Policy Department of the U.S. Department of Defense. It is noted that in this matter, the United States is actively cooperating with the government of Ukraine and SpaceX. At this point, we have been successful in countering Russian use of Starlink, but I am confident that Russia will continue to try to find ways to use Starlink and other commercial communications systems. This will continue to be a problem. I think we have dealt with it and found good solutions, as with Starlink and with Ukraine, he said in an interview with Bloomberg News. However, Plum declined to go into detail about what methods or procedures are being used to curb Russia's use of portable communications terminals that connect to SpaceX's fleet of low-orbit satellites. Representatives of the Ukrainian government also did not comment. The publication notes that Starlink terminals are still advertised for sale in Russia on platforms such as the Ozon e-commerce site. The sellers claim that they operate on a subscription basis issued in the name of residents of European countries where the technology is licensed. Mikhail Fedorov, Ukraine's Minister of Digital Transformation, said that by May 2022, Ukraine had received 10,000 Starlink terminals, which provide critical communications in the war against the Russian invaders. The Pentagon subsequently awarded SpaceX a $23 million one-year contract that ends this month. 
When asked about the status of the contract, Space Policy spokesman Omar Villarreal said they were working to extend it until November. As you know from the first months of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Ukraine has been using Starlink terminals. They help both the military at the front and have been installed more than once in cities liberated from the occupiers so that people can contact their relatives. Recently, the head of the Ministry of Digital Development, Mikhail Fedorov, announced that Poland will continue to pay for the work of more than 20,000 Starlink terminals, which it transferred to Ukraine.